Is there any plastic spoons back there? I don't think they would give them to you in cost, but they give you a cheap stir. Anyway, Chuck built this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the material and I'm going to put it in the bowl. Just like that. what I'm after. I'm after this portion. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Then by the way, has this material dissolved in it. So I'm just not going to add tap water. I'm going to have a treated water. Mm. You don't need to be an Einstein to do this. <laughs> Einstein doesn't work here anymore. This is nature. <laughs> okay. So then I just only have a little piece of newspaper or paper towel, something porous that you look through. It, see? Coffee builder works. Got a coffee builder? Come on, Chuck, help him. <laughs> but all your copper black oxide is down here in the bottom. And let me warn you about this. So I'm going to make the warning now. The red copper corpus is poisonous. Don't get it in your system. Wash your hands. Not like me. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, is put it down there. Just like that. Does everybody see that? It's in there. Saturated. Okay. I'm going to take the magnesium and smash it down in the bottom. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to build the crystal. Uh, 
Okay. the voltage, the first transistor pulls down, shuts the oscillator off. Goes dark, that opens up, oscillator runs, LED ray comes on. That's how simple it is. Should we short this one out? <laughs> want to let it sit for a while because in some known cases if you short them out and come back they have more energy. Now what can we do with this, right? Well, this has quite a bit of current probably on the order, just the way it sits right there. Uh, 300, maybe 400, almost a half amp at one 